Hello and welcome, Kamich here. In Monster Strike, let's look at the new event. This is the East version of the Tower of Champions. And then uh, this is here to replace the uh, Continuous Tower, uh, where you just play the tower again, uh, but if you lose, then you're done. Uh, I never really played that, because it wasn't that much fun. It was just more stressful. <laughs> But this East Tower, they take all of the elements of the towers and then they shift them. Um, so we're looking at uh, floor 21, which is usually fire, uh, but then here it's uh, water, so we have to bring different characters. And um, it would be easy just to take like light or dark element characters, since they can go everywhere, and just bring overpowered hatcher monsters like uh, Lucifer or Striker. Uh, but I decided to go through it with a free party um, so, three drop monsters, one hatcher monster. Um, just like the old days. Um, I remember that uh, one of the greatest achievements I've ever gotten uh, was to do a free party clear of the Tower of Champions uh, way back when, when the uh, drop monsters were not that strong. Uh, it shouldn't be as difficult this time, just because the, uh, the drop monsters are so much stronger now. Uh, but I just thought it would be fun to try. I'm probably the only person in the world that is going to attempt this, uh, because uh, why would you do it? <laughs> uh, the rewards aren't that great either. It's like maybe 20 orbs if you can finish all of the, uh, the floors of the tower. Uh, but I thought it would be fun to try and kind of nostalgic as well. Uh, but then also with all of the, uh, the flipped elements, you know, I get to try out some other characters that I wouldn't usually. And then uh, to talk about them, first I'm using a Poltergeist Ascension. Uh, she's a bounce with the Null Damage Wall and then Recovery S. Uh, recovery is pretty important in this stage because the uh, damage output is pretty high. Uh, next is the new uh, Xanadu. I think he's a new Colossal or something. Uh, but he's a bounce with the Null Gravity Barrier and Null Damage Wall. So he'll be my most uh, mobile character here. And then he has a Strike Shot which can heal as well. And then third is uh, Kamui. He's just a bounce, Null Damage Wall, but strong bump combo, strong Strike Shot. He's from the, uh, the Gintama collaboration. And then last is my one Hatcher monster. Uh, I think I said this like four or five years ago when I originally did the uh, free party run of the tower, but the one Hatcher monster that you bring is gonna be very important uh, to help all of the rest of your team. Uh, so I picked uh, Ibaraki Doji. Uh, she's a balance with no damage wall. Uh, she has a drain, so uh, the more she hits guys, uh, the more HP you will get back. And then she also has a Tackle plus Heal Strike Shot, so that can be uh, more HP there as well. And then uh, this is my Ibaraki Doji, so uh, she's special. She has the level 120 scroll, and then also a Sidekick uh, L, Ableberry. Um, so her homing is going to be a lot more powerful than uh, other people's Ibaraki Doji. Uh, but basically we're just taking down little guys and then we're waiting for the uh, defense up to go away on the boss and then we can just do damage to the boss. Uh, and then we have to try to keep our HP up as high as possible. Uh, no hearts in this stage. Um, I'm not going to talk about the strategy for these uh, quests too much because they're very old and probably everybody's uh, pretty familiar with them by now. And then, um, as much as possible for the element uh, quests, I will choose the right uh, element for there. So for water quests, I'll pick wood, of course. I'll try to stay away from uh, light and dark monsters that might be overpowered. Um, but for uh, quests that are light or dark element, um, I'm not going to be too strict with myself about sticking to um, the opposite element uh, monsters because that would be a lot of damage coming at me as well so that might be too difficult. Uh, but yeah that was floor 21. Uh, next let's look at floor 22 which gave me a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Alright so it's been flipped from blue to green so we'll bring uh, red characters. And then uh, this is the uh, the floor where the uh, Bahamut will hit us with a very powerful homing. Uh, there's one gravity barrier in the whole quest, so we can bring characters with a no gravity barrier, uh, but I didn't want to limit myself too much. Uh, but first character is uh, Inadi X. Uh, he is a bounce with no null gimmicks, or maybe he does have one, I forget what it is now. Uh, but he has the Fiend Slayer, 
uh, which will work against the boss. Um, second is uh, Marukutu, and then he's just a bounce fire. He doesn't have any of the null abilities, um, no slayers or anything, but he's just a new character, so I wanted to try him out. And then a strong bump combo, strong strike shot. And the next is uh, Shokuin. Uh, she is a bounce with the repeating Slayer M. Uh, so the more she hits a uh, class type, uh, the higher her Slayer will get for here. Um, so I thought she could be a good damage source. She also has a command strike shot and then a chain lightning bump combo. So pretty good damage uh, all around. And then my single uh, Hatcher monster is Salamander. He's a bounce with the no gravity barrier and then a Fiend Slayer. Um, so you can do extra damage on the boss. And then a very strong uh, short range bump combo. So I would like to uh, position him near the boss if I can. I wish I'd grab that heart, but oh well. <laughs> okay, we're still in the pre-boss stages, so we don't need to worry about uh, staying away from the boss that first turn. Uh, but we get hit by the homing, and then we want to heal this next turn. And then uh, this stage made me lose a couple times. Uh, I did want to uh, throw my phone at uh, one point, but uh, in a good way. <laughs> it reminded me of uh, the uh, good old days. Uh, the problem with using a lot of uh, draw monsters is that uh, they don't do a lot of damage. And so you're in every stage longer, and then the boss is getting more attacks at you, uh, which is why it's easy to eventually lose. Okay, but we take the big damage, uh, get some healing in the healing wall, and then we go back to doing damage ourselves. I remember in this stage going through again and again and again with uh, Marishten, trying to get the, uh, the hit stop on that first boss stage, uh, but I can never make it happen. You have to get the uh, positioning just right, and you also have to get the uh, the turn order just right, so that you start that mission with Marishten, uh, so that you can wedge him in between the drone and the boss, and then the drone disappears the next turn. So that was very difficult. was never wasn't able to ever pull that off. Oh well. Uh, thankfully, there are hearts in this stage, so. If we don't get enough healing from the walls, we can get it from the hearts afterwards. And then uh, Shokuin, I made the max look of. I uh, haven't used her for any uh, farming yet, uh, but she's a strong character, I think. Uh, Marukutu, he's also pretty strong, but I don't think I need him at a max look. Okay, last stage. Oh, hit the boss once, but the boss won't kill us. And then here I'm going to use uh, Shokuin's Command Strike Shot. Uh, I will get the uh, speed and power up on herself so that she can get more hits in the healing wall. And then maybe we can also hit Salamander, uh, get him moving. Okay, so full life, take down a few guys, that is fine. And then uh, with Salamander, let's use this Tackle Strike Shot. Very, very strong for uh, eight turns. <laughs> And then Inadi X, he has the uh, Recovery S, so very uh, fast gauge. And then finally, let's use uh, Marukutu's uh, Command, not Command, uh, Meteor Strike Shot. And that'll do it for 22. Um, so, I am going to keep going for the free clears uh, until it bores me. <laughs> I really would like to make videos of all of this uh, East Tower, so I'll work hard on those. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.